All right, guys, today we will be looking at the Scotland versus South Africa game that is taking place at Murrayfield on Saturday. So let's get into the Scotland squad. At number one, we have Schumann. At number two, we have McAnally. At number three, we have Fagerson. At number four, we have Skinner. At number five, we have Gilchrist. At number six, we have Haining. At number seven, we have Ritchie, who is a vice captain today. At number eight, we have a Matt Fagerson. At number nine, we have Ali Price. At number 10, we have Finn Russell, who's the other vice captain. At number 11, we have Van der Merwer. At number 12, we have Matt Scott, who um, is the first time back in the Scotland team for a while, I think. At number 13, we have Chris Harris. At number 14, we have Rufus McLean. At number 15, we have Stuart Hogg. Now, on the bench, we have Ewan Ashman at number 16, um, Jamie Batty at number 17, and at number 18, we have Ollie Kebble. At number 19, we have Jamie Hodgson. At number 20, we have Hamish Watson. At number 21, we have George Horn. At number 22, we have Hastings. And at number 23, we have a Blair Kinghorn. So this is an interesting squad. Hamish Watson is on the bench. Um, being replaced by I guess Nick Haining and Jamie Rich being moved out to that seven spot. Matt Scott is making his first start for Scotland for a long time. I think has he has he has he played for Scotland under Gregor Townsend yet? He might not have actually. Um, I think the last time I remember him playing was in the twenty seventeen Six Nations. It's the last time I remember him playing, but he might have played since then. Um, so that's very nice to see Matt Scott back in the team and Rufus McLean. Um, back in the starting lineup after not even being in the squad last week. Uh, he got two tries against Tonga the week before. Uh, so this is a very interesting Scotland team. Uh, and I can't wait to see what happens. Okay, so let's move on to the South Africa squad. Now, at number one, we have Inchi. At number two, we have Imbanambi. At number three, we have Inyakani. At number four, we have Etzbeth. At number five, we have Mozart. At number six, we have Sia Khaleesi, the captain. At number seven, we have Smith, uh, Quagga Smith. At number eight, we have Vermeulen. At number nine, we have Yantes. At number 10, we have Yantes. At number 11, we have Mapimpe. At number 12, we have Dialendi. At number 13, we have Am. At number 14, we have Creel. And at number 15, we have LaRue. Now, on the bench, at number 16, we have Malcolm Mark. At number 17, we have Kitsoff. At number 18, we have Koch. At number 19, we have Diager. At number 20, we have Visa. At number 21, we have Reinach. At number 22, we have Pollard. And at number 23, we have Franz Stein. So that is the South Africa team. It is a very, very it's a very good team. And it's making me quite nervous from a Scottish perspective. Um, so, yeah. Let's move on to the players to watch from each team. So for South Africa here, my player to watch is Mapimpe. He ran a really nice line uh, to score his try that was eventually disallowed um, for players being offside, I believe it was. And um, I think if they are going to score some tries um, on Saturday, it's going to, some of them are going to come through him. At least one of them will probably come through him because he is a world-class winger. So my player to watch for South Africa is Mapimpe. And moving on to Scotland, my player to watch is Pierre Schumann because that scrum is going to be very, very difficult and he is going to have to be on top of his game to be able to compete with this Springbok scrum. So it's going to be my player to watch. He got a try assist last week. He was um, he should, he should, he should really be booting at 10 after that assist. But um, he's playing in, as um, a prop. So yeah, he's my player to watch because Scotland will need to front up in that scrum to be able to take on the spring box. So let's move on to the prediction. So the bookies have it at 12 to 5 for Scotland to win and 4 to 7 for South Africa to win. So they have South Africa as the favourite for this game, which is probably fair. They are the world champions. So and they're a very good team. Um so I would love to say I think Scotland's going to win this. I would love to say Scotland will win by three points. But being objective, it's probably going to be a South Africa win. And I'm going to say South Africa by 10, maybe, is my my objective opinion. But my subjective opinion is Scotland's going to win by three. So there we go. So tell me what you think is going to happen down below. What do you think of these teams? Leave a like. On the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new around here but as always guys have a great day see ya